hi guys welcome to my youtube channel code with akil so this is continuation of the previous video wherein we were discussing about the four pillars of the object oriented programming in the previous video we discussed about what is encapsulation and abstraction if you have not watched that video i will highly encourage you to watch that talking about the next important pillar in the object oriented programming is inheritance Inheritance is the process of inheriting the parent class to the child class with the intention of code reusability. The virtue of inheritance, we can access the members of the parent from the child class. So child class will have its own implementation. Apart from that, it will have the additional already implemented member functions, member variables, which are public into the parent one. So talking about the types of inheritance, there are four types of inheritance in C Sharp. One is single inheritance, another one is hierarchical inheritance, third is multi-level inheritance and fourth is multiple inheritance. Diagram is self-explanatory. What, what is single inheritance? So in case of single inheritance, a parent will have single child. In case of hierarchical inheritance, parent can have multiple child classes. In case of multi-level inheritance, parent will have its own new child uh, new child class and the new child class in turn will have another child class and so on this is multi level inheritance and the fourth type of inheritance is multiple inheritance class does not support multiple inheritance in case of c sharp the reason is that it creates the diamond problem let me just give it try to explain what is diamond problem in this scenario it student is a child class which is inherited from two parent class student and lecturer so if suppose the parent class student has one method display and lecturer has another method display both has both both the methods have the same signature when we instantiate the child class and try to call the display method so it gets confused there is conflict which method to call which parent method to call that is the main reason we cannot achieve multiple inheritance with the help of class if at all we want to achieve multiple inheritance we can make use of interface so what is interface so if you are not aware about the term interface uh, as of now uh, please don't worry we will be covering this in upcoming videos so flipping to the visual studio so i've got one class student which has got two properties it uh, id and name let me create another class so the, here i'm talking about single inheritance So I've got another class, CLS tab tab, and this is IT student. It is inheriting the student. For inheriting the class, we use colon operator. Suppose it has got one method, public void display. And here I just want to call this is child method IT student display. So inside the main class, I've got two classes of now, student is parent and IT student is child class. Inside the main class, let me instantiate the IT student, I equal to new IT student. As soon as I click I dot, you can see, I can see ID and name. So ID and name, both are the properties of parent class, which is student. But we do not have ID and name property implemented inside the child class. But still, when I instantiate the child class, I'm able to achieve, I'm able to access the parent uh, member, public member. Another question is asked in the interview is that, how do you call parent method from the child class method? So in this scenario, this is my child class. It has got one method display. Suppose inside the parent class, I've got one method public void get admission. This is parent class for admission. So if at all I want to call this function from my child method, I will just use base operator base dot you can see. I'm able to call the get admission and this get admission is present inside the parent one. This is the way we call parent method from the child method. Talking about the next uh, inheritance, which is hierarchical inheritance. 
as we saw just now it student is child class of the parent class student parent class which is student let me create another class cls tab tab say hardware student public void get admission for hardware ccna for example taken for ccna so this is the class which is also inheriting from the parent class student so in this scenario we can see student class have two child likewise you can have uh, its siblings so this such scenarios are called as heretical inheritance talking about third uh, type of inheritance which is multi-level in case of multi-level students parent class has one child class and child class Again, in further implementation, it acts like a parent one. You can see here, parent class, it has child class as IT student. And IT student is playing a role of parent class of hardware student. So this is multi-level inheritance. Class does not support multiple inheritance because of a diamond problem. Another interview question asked, for, uh, with respect to inheritance is in case of inheritance what is the sequence of constructor that gets called so before that what is constructor so constructor is the special method whose name is same as that of the class name and the purpose is to initialize the member variables for example in case of student so shorthand for the constructor is ctor tap tap it will create the constructor as you can see constructor is a function whose name is same as that of the class name so here I can initialize some value say id equal to 1001 and name equal to akhil so when I instantiate name so when I instantiate this class student s equal to new student and when I say s dot get admission here let me just try to print the value id plus this is zero and name first and id and name so as soon as I call this function get admission as dot get admission although we have not initialized ID and name from main from the client but still as soon as I initialize as soon as I create the instance of the student class internally it will call the default constructor and default constructor in turn will initialize the member variable member properties let me just give a run to this code F5. So my debug point is hit. In order to get into this student a constructor, I will use F11 or here also you can see this is your F10 to step over and F11 to step into. I want to step into F11. You can see it is getting inside the constructor and initializing the member properties. And as soon as you call this function, uh, let me step into F11. Here you can see. ID is 1001 and name is of Mr. or Mrs. Akhil. How to restrict any class to inherit further? So this is very common interview question. So here I've got this class hardware student. I don't want hardware student to be uh, treated as parent going further. I'll just make it as sealed. So when I create another class and I will say my student and let me try to inherit from the hardware uh, student you can see it is giving me the error my student cannot derive from sealed type hardware student as we have declared this class as sealed we cannot inherit my student from the sealed class next question is can a static class be inherited so answer is no static class cannot be inherited 
So static class cannot be parent or it cannot be child. Let's see that. Suppose I've got this class. So let me get rid of this uh, classes that we have used for the demonstration. Let me make this class as static. As this is static class, so we will be covering the static uh, keyword uh, in upcoming videos in greater details. Let me just, as this is the static class, all the members in the static class should be static. Yeah. So let me just create another class. CLS tab traps in my class and let's try to derive it from student. See, I'm getting the compile time error my class cannot derive from static class talking about the next scenario let me create a class which is already um, by default say student say it student and let me make this class to inherit from it student Still, you will get this compile time error. Static class student cannot derive from IT student. Static classes must derive from object. So you cannot derive static class from any class. So it cannot be parent or it cannot be child. So guys, in this video, we try to understand what is inheritance, which is the most important pillar of object oriented programming. So in the next video, we will try to understand what is polymorphism. Again, polymorphism is very important in case of object-oriented programming. So stay tuned.